All right, what's up, everybody? We've got a little personal box, two box break for Chris. He's going to try XFL box 2020. And he also got a top series one jumbo, which is right somewhere on the page. There we go. And he asked me to do the XFL first. So let's do that. And any personals, let me know. I'll be on for at least another 20 minutes. But if you, um, you know, if you guys keep me busy, I'll, I'll stay later. But on for at least the next 20 minutes with this break. Yeah, even like, like we tried the 2009 Bowman draft with Trout. It was like, what, we do it for like a couple hundred bucks a, a pack. And it just took a long time to sell. So, I mean, we've tried it before, but maybe not our audience or whatever. Oh, it's no problem, Rex. Yeah, I always, I, at first I got confused too. That's his first name, Layton. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so a full box of XFL for Chris. Yeah, it's crazy, right, Sean? We were selling boxes for even cheaper than that in the store when it first came out. 380 I know you got a lot of packs in here, plus three autos per box. Not bad for 60 bucks. Yeah, take a look at what last year's Prism is at. I mean, I'll say it again, and you know, I don't mind since we're so late talking about it. And you know, I'm sure you could say there's products that we sold that have gone down, and cards that I sold. I personally had a few Giannis cards, but we were buying and selling Prism for around thirty or forty dollars a box in thirteen fourteen. I think a case was like five hundred bucks. And now it, I think on BlowoutCards.com it's about thirty thirty five thousand dollars a case. What's that? A thirty four thousand five hundred dollar difference. And we probably had. 10 cases at some point so I mean don't like to look back on it but that one is kind of tough to, to, to look back on we we started May 2014 so that was like one of the first products that we had for a while and yeah Prism was in our bargain bin I mean it, w it was a product that nobody wanted to touch nobody thought any of the rookies were good the Prism Silvers weren't even called Prism Silvers back then they were called Prism Prisms so it was just confusing. The Prism Prisms, aka the Silvers, were like a tenth. Like, they're so much more rare. Ten times more rare than what they are nowadays. That's why you don't see a lot of Giannis's pop up. But yeah, I mean, the last few months, there's just been so many new people come in the hobby. And just a lot of money flow in. So, I don't know if it's because of Gary V, the, uh, the influencer guy. Or just, you know, people have more time in the hands. People looking for alternate investments other than the stock market. I don't know, really. Alright, here we go, Chris. Good luck. There's a Tiamo. That's a nice one, rookie. Ooh, Andre Williams is in it. I didn't know that. Former Giant. Kenneth Farrow. Former Charger, I believe. Lance Dunbar, former Cowboy. Our first auto is Ben Heaney, linebacker for the Guardians. I like this design. I like the logo, XFL logo. Matt Elam, what, Raven? I remember all these guys. Keenan Reynolds, Raven. I was going to say, but I would tell me Don G, but I don't think so. Maybe. All right, there's four of five. Martez Carter, Wildcat. Oh, sorry, AJ. Yeah, that I saw that. 
Yeah, I don't have too many stocks, but I know it didn't do very well yesterday, the 21st, so today, yesterday, whatever. Ooh, Colin Jeter. Derek Jeter's kid? Yeah, sometimes if, if you've had this stream on for a while, it'll stop refreshing the chat. Like, I've done that. Like, I've gone away, and I've been listening to Joe, and then, like, a couple hours later, I go back on my computer. It goes to sleep. And then the chat stops, but if you refresh, sometimes that, or the live chat, yeah. We have it on live chat, on the top. Next auto, Landry Jones, that's a nice one. Former Pittsburgh Steeler, QB, Dallas Renegade, Landry Jones. But yeah, like I've been like I said earlier, I think the XFL was doing pretty well being the first year and you know, not a ton of uh ton of time to plan. Cardell Jones. They just a worst year ever to start it. Stars of the game, Trey Williams. We got a green coming up. Don't know what the greens are, number two. The blacks, we're out of five. Khalil Lewis is to 99. Yeah, it's a dark visor. Can't see his face. Auto, Aaron Murray. Nice auto, too. Former Kansas City Chief. My favorite team, the Vipers. Best uniform, better than the Chargers. They got some great, I believe it's their home uniform or their, yeah, home uniform, I think. Maybe away, I don't know. Got some nice uniforms, though. So you pulled two former NFL quarterbacks. That's pretty good. I don't know if it's better to pull the guys who have never had autos or if it's better to pull the guys who have had autos and played at big schools. Couldn't tell you. Purple to 50, Cardell Jones. Probably the best quarterback in the XFL, right? Yeah, I mean, that's one of those things, AJ, that'll, you know, blue chip, it'll go back up, you know? Have, like, it has to, right? But yeah, I don't know. That's... That's the reason why all these boxes and cases and cards have been going way up. I've, it's really crazy. You know, it's great to have, you know, more eyeballs in the hobby, but it's kind of getting crazy. To 99, Grant, uh, sorry, Brant Weiss to 99. It's almost like to a point where it's like, all right, can we dip it back a little bit. Stuff's a little too hot. But that's the thing about group breaks, you know. We do primarily, you know, 90% 90, 90 group breaks, 10% personals. Um, there's the XFL box, and we're shipping all the cards, so bring those to your side. Um, that's the thing about group breaks, you know. Takes a huge, highly priced box and divides it up into whether it's 30 spots or whatever. So that's been good that, you know, group breaks have been getting more popular. Yeah. Joe says it's a little bit of everything. Gary V. More just people discovering the hobby. More people stuck at home with money. Yeah. Definitely. I have no clue what... I haven't... I mean... I drive about 10 minutes to work, and that's all I've been doing. I've, so I have no idea what the gas is here. I'd imagine it's like 250. I don't know. Maybe Joe knows. He drives a lot more.
Maybe stimulus checks, yeah. But it was hot. It was getting, you know, so hot before then. But I'm sure that that definitely, you know, even spiked it even more. Oh, 320. Yeah, 250, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I follow this page that shows percentages of card wrecks. Like, you can search a player and it'll tell you um, how much that player has gone up in the last, like, 30 days. And almost every player has, like, gone up in the last 30 days. So you can say it might be a good time to sell now. You know, who knows how long we have sports. We have to wait for sports, you know. Are people still going to be buying four or five months from now? So you could argue both sides. Or you could say, you know, sports are going to be coming back sooner than later. And the hype is going to get even hotter. I think a lot of the high-end stuff has dropped a little bit. There's Gavin Lux, rookie. Maybe like the Zion Silvers have gone down a little bit. But from what I've noticed and like read, a lot of these cards are just gone nothing but up. Especially boxes because there's so many breakers now. Austin Nola to 2020. There's an Aquino rookie. I haven't ripped this, I don't think, it's since the Topps Rip Party, February. Better days, pre, pre-USA pre COVID. There's to 199, Nick Solak. That event would not be happening if it was this month. 300 people in the same room, all close up, sweating from opening packs. Would not be going on right now. Nice Nick Solak auto. And yeah, let me know if anyone else wants to do a personal. If not, no problem. I'll hop off. Joe will be back in about 13 hours. Um, won't be doing personals. We'll be doing group breaks, of course. Jason will be doing personals tomorrow. There's Seth Brown. I think that's a short print Piazza. Yeah, definitely. I thought you were saying I know somebody who definitely does. I was like, who do I know? But yeah, someone, I mean, out of that group. Although maybe not. How many percent? I guess they don't know. That's the problem. There's Mike Trout. Oh, Bouchette. You've got, you got all uh, big three rookies here. Lux, Aquino, and uh, Bo Bichette. Now you just need uh, Jordan. What's Stanton? Sean says Stanton has a station at 189. What's Stanton? Is that John Carlo Mike Stanton's gas station? Or is that a city in California? In Orange County. And yeah, baseball. Who knows how many uh, cards they'll be putting out this year. Series 1 might be going up in price soon, too. Strasburg. There's Gavin Lux. Insert rookie. There's Nico Horner. Another good rookie. Let's leave those up. And yeah, Jason breaks on Instagram, and so does Teddy. So that's Instagram at Jaspies Breaks. You don't need to, you know, post it on Instagram or anything to have an account. Free to sign up. You know, you could just follow Jaspies Breaks. Nobody will see you. Watch the uh, live feed. You do have to have a login to watch and chat. 
and you can't really do it on the desktop. You can watch on the desktop, you can't chat on the desktop. So, ooh, Dustin May, nice rookie there. And Jordan Yamamoto. What do you mean, Westminster? Is it a town, Sean? I thought Westminster was its own, own town. I'm not picking on Sean. I know about three areas of Southern California. That's why I'm I'm saying it with like a like, and Sean is sarcastic a lot, so he could be just making up this place. I wouldn't know. That's the real, the real meanness. Making up fake cities. I'm sure it's a lovely place though if it is real. Uh, Jaspies loves all 50 states, all territories, and almost every country in this world. We'll accept orders from Rafael Devers, and there's Lurdes Guriel Jr. Relic for the Blue Jays. Die cut of Hank Aaron. No Syndergaard 35th anniversary. All base here. Rookies. And usually personal ship, usually ship the next day, um, if not the day after. I think they'll be able to get these out the next day, though. Kenley Jansen, Marwin Gonzalez to 69 for the Twins. Westminster, I've heard of. I think my father used to live there. I don't know about... Stanton. I'm just trying to think. I have no idea. Have all the how have all the golden tickets been pulled? Another Lux. Sam Hilliard. Matt Tice. Nice Tice. Man. I usually flip them over, but sometimes there's a run of them on the same side. Uh, short print. And yeah, if I miss any short prints, they'll, they're all shipped, so. Other way here. Anibal Sha Sanchez. Pete Alonzo. I've only driven, I've never been to Bakersfield. I've driven through it, though. On the way to San Francisco on that Interstate 5, I do believe it's called. Identified. By Google Maps, Apple Maps. Waze. Whatever navigation system. Garmin. Magellan. Really? $3 is a steal. Nowadays on, on eBay shipping. Jordan, there it is. Got all the four big rookies, really. Not too shabby. And then you have a little bit more to go. Did we hit um, both autos? We do have the bonus packs to do. So we had the Guriel... We had the Yamamoto, J 
Just one auto per box, huh? Nick Solak, two relics. Yeah, I, I see most people charging upwards of five, six, seven dollars for shipping on eBay. There's just I don't know the whole thing about eBay with the sales tax thing. Even us as a you know company that resells a lot of stuff we buy from eBay, it's hard for us to avoid paying sales tax on eBay. That whole thing just is a terrible law, and I think both parties like did it, so you can't blame one. It passed in the Supreme Court by a lot of the judges. All right, here's the box topper. It's Pete Alonzo. And then the two silver packs. Yeah, I, I just named off every uh, GPS company. There's Tatis, Judge, Yelich, and Mookie. Wow. Four studs right there in that pack. Just base, though. And last pack, good luck, Chris. Thanks for getting these. Otani, Nolan Ryan. Robel Garcia rookie and look at that you got a bonus auto Brendan McKay the dual position player I think he pitches and hits little Shohei Otani light you could say so we got the WMB draft on I don't think it's live at 1am it's nice McKay so there you go Chris thanks for getting those couple boxes there um, nice break. Thanks, everybody. Jaspies.com. Grab your personal boxes. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Grab your group breaks. Bye.